Sustainability to me is to be able to protect um, our soils. Cover crops stop the erosion. We used to clean out ditches a um, long time ago. We're, we have cut that down uh, tremendously, where we used to do it every five years, now we're doing it every 30. We take a machine and we, uh, we put our fertilizer in, in the ground with this machine and we make a strip about six inches to eight inches deep, about six to eight inches wide. Um, um, and then that we do that in the fall and then we, we seed our cover crop. And then that next spring, we come in with the planter and we plant right into those strips. Whatever we put in the field, we wanna keep it in the field. And, and like you, we, we were you know, cleaning ditches out every, yeah, three, four years. Um, and we, we've kept everything in the field. I mean, erosion has gone down to, uh, I don't wanna say zero, but it's very little. And, um, you know, fertilizer stays in place better. Um, you know, we're, we're keeping our water cleaner. After Labor Day, I basically have an airplane that comes in, he'll fly right over top of our cotton, our peanuts, and our soybeans. Um, and when we defoliate our cotton, for example, the cotton leaves will cover up the grain, and that grain will germinate. And when we harvest that cotton, we are harvesting into two, three inch, little small cover crop that's already going. Our yields were increasing on these acres and we're creating, or we're growing more on the same amount of acres. And all of that has contributed to a healthy soil um, and carbon in that soil. We're not making more farmland, so we're gonna have to do it with what we have. I always get the question, does cover crop pay for itself? And it's hard to uh, put an exact number on there, but I always say, absolutely. That our souls, that's our best asset. That is what I'm gonna have for my little girls to have to come back this fall. That is what they're gonna inherit.